Let's say, example, we want to write a program that basically reads information from a user, including his name or and student ID, plus three marks or three grades for three courses, and then the program calculates the GP and prints it. We want to structure it via three functions, as explained in here. We have read the student information, read the student grades, and calculate GPA functions. With read the student information, the function requires to read a student ID and name, and then return them, uh, return, return them as uh, basically output parameters, or via return statements. With return uh, student grades, or read the student grades, uh, we ask the users inside the function to read, to basically enter grades for three courses, and then again we return them to the main program. And finally, calculate GPA that uh, receives the grade that we read from here as input arguments or parameters basically, calculate their GPA and then return it to your main program. The main program calls these three functions and then prints the results of that is obtained from this calculate GPA function. It's important that we understand the specifications of each, each function. It's important that we, that, we, that we clarify what input arguments we need to supply to the function and whether the function needs to, re to return a value or values, basically before we write the functions in order to consist in, in order to ensure that our program that we write is consistent with the specification that we are given. So the first function is read the student information. It doesn't receive any argument as it, because it's not mentioned here. All it needs to do, it needs to write a student ID and a student name and then return them using the return keyword. So ID or student ID. Uh, we assume that student IDs are just text. So we just say input, enter your ID. Next, we read a student name. Again, name is a text. So we don't need to use any type of typecasting. And then we just need to return student ID and name as the result of this function. So this is our first function. The second function, read a student grades, needs to read three grades from the user and then return them to the main program. Grades are float, so we need to read them as floating numbers. So grade one is going to be float and then input enter mark for the first course. Then you can just copy, duplicate twice, change grade two, grade three, second and third course. And finally we just return These are great. Let me fix the typo. Grade one, grade two, and grade three. The third function, calculate GPO, GPA, receives the needs to receive these three marks, these two grades, from uh, as as a basically parameters and then returns their calculate their GPA and the return return their results. So we have let me just use 
different names. And all we need to do is just returning first grade, second grade, third grade, and this is the total sum of them. So multiplication divides by three because we have three grades. Note the reason that I put this inside a parenthesis to is to dictate uh, Python to calculate these operations first because if we didn't use that then the first operation that would be calculated was third grade divided by three and then the result plus the second and first grade. That's not what we want to do. We want to ensure that we have this result first and then divide that result by three. And finally, in our main program, we call each function read the students information, then grade one and grade two and grade three, read student grade. And finally, GPA is calculate GPA, and then we supply the grades, grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3. And finally, we can print it inside our main program. Your GPA is... Separate it. Let's run it. So your ID is something like this. Your name, mark for the first course, let's say 3.6. Second course, 3.7. Third course, 3. And your GPA is 3.43.